Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to create contour lines and polygons from point clouds. I'm using here a tile from geotiles.nl AHN4 point cloud data of an area with dunes in the Netherlands. When I load it into QGIS, it automatically converts it to a cloud optimized point cloud or COPC file. Here you can see that this data is very detailed. Each point is colored with the RGB colors of an aerial photograph. We can also check the data in 3D with the QGIS 3D view. This is a dune area at the coast of the Netherlands for which I want to derive the contour lines. As far as I know, there are currently no tools in QGIS to directly derive contours from the uh, point clouds, but there are new point cloud uh, processing tools in the processing toolbox. And there's one that I can use to export the point cloud to vector. So I'm going to use that to uh, export the points with their Z attribute to a geo package. Here under advanced parameters, you can also use expressions or uh, crop the extent. For this demo, I'm going to use a smaller area of the dunes, which I select here in the map canvas. And I save this result to a geo package. Close when the algorithm is completed. And here you can see all the points and you check the attribute table and there you'll see that there are many points converted to uh, point vectors with an elevation value. You can uh, create contour lines or polygons with the native uh, algorithms that QGIS provides. The only problem is that those algorithms um, require a raster as input and not points. And uh, when we interpolate points to a raster, we uh, lose some information and the result also depends on the interpolation algorithm. So here I'm going to use another procedure for which we need a plugin. So go to the plugins manager and I'm going to install the contour plugin. After installation, you see this icon added to the toolbar. If I click the icon, I can choose an input layer, which is our point vector layer, and I choose the Z attribute to automatically analyze uh, the data set and it will detect if it is uh, on a regular grid or not. In our case, this is LiDAR data and not on a regular grid. I can remove duplicate points by playing with the tolerance. I keep the default here. And uh, I can choose if I want contour lines, if I want filled contours, if I want both, or if I want a polygon contour layer. Furthermore, I can change the method. I can use equal intervals, quantiles, logarithmic intervals, a fixed contour interval, or a user uh, selected one. I use here a fixed contour interval of one meter, because I'm interested here in small elevation differences, and I increase the number to 30, and these are the contours that it will generate. I could also set a minimum and maximum. And uh, for the output, I can uh, define the name and uh, precision, which means the amount of decimals it should generate, but these are round numbers. So I keep the defaults and I click add. Now it has generated the uh, contour lines. There's a temporary uh, layer. But uh, I'm interested in polygons, so I choose here contour layers, and that should generate the polygons. It will uh, replace the layer that is already uh, generated with the new information. There's the result. You see that the layer is in uh, editing mode, and it's a temporary scratch layer. Um, we could uh, style it by using, for example, just a simple outline. And then we can uh, see through. And we can also change the coloring of the background point cloud layer by using an attribute by ramp and using the Z value. And then we need to choose a ramp. And then uh, here we see the colored uh, points by elevation. Now I want to uh, save the changes, but this gives a uh, commit error because uh, somehow uh, these polygons are not supported by the format and I didn't find a solution for that. 
If you would use lines, it works. If you use polygons, it wouldn't save it in the view package. But I found an alternative. If you use the uh, processing tools that come with the plugin and you use the generate contours uh, tool, you can uh, save the result directly to a geo package without going through a temporary file and that uh, seems to work so here i choose uh, the z attribute again and i set the tolerance and i choose which uh, contour type on the right side you can uh, read um, the explanations of all these settings so i choose here layer uh, contour type and then uh, we will get uh, layer polygons Choose here, uh, like previously, the fixed uh, contour interval, and I change it to uh, 30 because with our one meter uh, setting, uh, we will get uh, more than 20 contour polygons. And here I can uh, add the units, so I use uh, meters, which will go then in the attribute table, and then I save the result to a geo package. Save it in the same geo package as our uh, points that were exported from the LiDAR data. And I call it contours. And then I run it. And it gives some feedback that uh, it discarded 17 points. It's triangulating uh, many points and then contouring those triangles. So it uses a tin. And uh, then it's finished. Close the dialog to uh, check the result. So it's not a temporary layer now, it's in our geo package. And we can check the attribute table and there we see our contours. And here we see how it created those polygons. So in this video you've learned how to create contours from point cloud data.